Hello everyone and welcome back to another installment of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. Last we left off, I had just uh, completed the little love triangle with Alistair and Zevran. Um, and I wanted to, you know, it's, it's interesting that, and I actually saw a comic to this effect too, that pretty much all of the romance interests in this game are fairly cool about stepping aside, especially Zevran and Liliana. I think that the developers really intended for you to end up with Alistair if you were female, or Morrigan if you were male. Um, just because of the storyline emphasis put on them, and the fact that both Liliana and Zevran are really, you know, okay with stepping aside for the one true love of your life. Yeah. Um, not that they're not interesting romances, because you get to really know each of those characters a lot more and in depth. But, um... For this run through, I'm definitely going with Alistair in the end. Um, and the approval system, if I had been really rude with Zephyr, and if I had been, like, you know, you know, if I had, say, even talked with Alistair first, he would have been, he would have disapproved from that. And then the second conversation following that would have only given him more disapproval. Um, <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure entirely why, except it's basically you're essentially breaking up with him twice. And instead of talking with him about breaking up with him, you're talking with the other person first. So I guess I can kind of understand that. Anyway, so now that, that the air has been cleared, Zevran is back down to 68 approval. He's warm, but he's no longer at care or interested or anything along those lines. And, of course, Alistair continues to be oblivious to that. Your desire is my command. Yeah. Never mind. So, the status quo has been reas reasserted, reaffirmed, whatever. And, let's see. No, well, I wait. I do have stuff I want to sell. If there's anything I can do for you, please, please, I'm sure... I have stuff I want to sell, I said. Don't need that. Don't need that. Great sword dragon bone. Wow. Oathkeeper, warden's long sword. I don't think I need that. I know, I know these last few videos have continued being. Yeah. Hmm. Peter gloves? No, I don't want those. I can hear some people out there going, No! Why are you doing that? Chainmail boots, dragon ball. Splint mail, dragon ball? Hmm. Effort. Okay, get rid of the shields. Firestone harness? Oh. Swift runner. Or paint. I, can't, I don't need that. I don't need these crystals because I've pretty much already got Shale equipped with the stuff I'm going to put on her for the rest of the game. Joining Chalice. Oh yeah, that's a gift for Alibuddy. Sell the fancy vases and the blank vellum. Blank vellum. Because I thwart wood. Interesting side note, uh, just for fun, I imported Lorelei at this point in the game over to the Awakening expansion, and they do that for you. <clears throat> oh, I guess I can't put stuff on you. You're not very strong, are you? No, indeed. And it turned out interestingly. Hmm. Okay, why is there no collar on here? What evs? What evs game? All right. So, drama resolved. I think it's about time we actually return to the plot. What do you say? After finishing up at Ostagar, I took some time, some time out. But I think it's about time. head to Denrim. We do need to start the Urn of Sacred Ashes quest, after all, and that's where we go to start it. 
Yes. Yes. Indeed. And I always pick the same party. Because that's how I roll. Let's go to Denerim. And by the way, I did choose this specific time to finish up everything with Zevran, because I want things to be cleared up by the time I enter Denerim. That's kind of how I was trying to time it. Denerim is just a lovely city. Running through here in Kaelin's armor, I wonder, you know, they probably don't have a programmed response to that, but dang, that would be funny. Ah, Denerim. If we have time, I would like to look for Marjolaine. We have a score to settle. That's true, and at least a couple of personal quests end here. Um, Liliana's is around here, but remember, there was a while back where Alistair asked if we could at some point drop by Denerim to meet his sister. <clears throat> well, you get interrupted right outside the door, so I should probably save. Okay. Wow, that was a while back, huh? Um, in Tenerim. Multiple saves for the win. further forward that's my sister's house I'm almost sure of it this is yes this is the right address she could be inside could we go and see <laughs> wouldn't you rather meet her on your own oh, I seem a little nervous I am I really don't know what to expect I'd like you to be there with me if you're willing or we could leave I suppose we really don't have time to pay a visit do we maybe we should go <laughs> Fine. Let's see if she's home. Will she even know who I am? Does she even know I exist? My sister. That sounds very strange. Sister. Sister. <laughs> hmm. Oh, now I'm babbling. Maybe we should go. Let's go. Let's just go. Right. And that's the subtle hint that tells you that if you want to complete his quest, you should head into Gul'dana's house. Will she live up to his expectations? Will she be the family that Alistair has been looking for his whole life? We'll see. Uh, hello? Hey, you, you have linens to wash? I charge three bits on a bundle, you won't find better. And don't trust what that Natalia woman tells you either. She's foreign and she'll rob you blind. I'm not here to have any wash done. <laughs> uh, my name's Alistair. I'm... well, this may sound sort of strange, but are you Gordana? If so, I suppose I'm your brother. My what? I am Gordana, yes. How do you know my name? What kind of tomfoolery are you folk up to? Are you sure your information was correct, Alistair? Yes, I think so. I'm sure of it, in fact. Look, our mother, she worked as a servant in Redcliffe Castle a long time ago before she died. Do you know about that? She... You! I knew it! They told me you was dead! They told me the babe was dead along with mother, but I knew they was lying. They told you I was dead? Who? Who told you that? Them's at the castle! I told them the babe was the king's and they said he was dead. Gave me a coin to shut my mouth and sent me on my way. I knew it! I'm sorry, I didn't know that. The babe didn't die. I'm him. I'm your brother. <sighs> For all the good it does me. Whoa. You killed mother, you did. And I've had to scrape by all this time. That coin didn't last long, and when I went back, they ran me off. Oh dear. That's, this is not going very well at all. And I'm out of time for this video, but I hope to see you on the next installment where we... Maybe we can see if we can reunite Goldana and Alistair as family. Maybe? <laughs> hope to see you next time.